Some amazing conversations so far. Thank you all so much for joining in and interacting on YouTube and our other streaming platforms as well. It's now time to turn it over to Linda Zheng of Transparent Financial Systems and her panel of industry experts, including former SEC Chairman Jay Clayton, to shed light on the evolution of capital markets. This session will be followed by Skybridge Capital's Anthony Scaramucci. So keep watching and don't miss out. Hi, everyone. I think we are all on screen. Um, I'm the Global Head of Policy at Transparent Financial Systems. We are a payment startup that is developing a digital dollar payment solution for U.S. businesses. I'm also a visiting scholar at Georgetown Law. And I have to say, I was delighted to be asked to moderate today's panel because I once regulated securities exchanges and other trading venues at the SEC back in the day. And at that time, and this was in the 2000s, we were focused on breaking the monopoly of traditional stock exchanges like NICE and Amex, while ensuring the growth of a national market system of exchanges, alternative trading systems, broker dealers, and high frequency traders, utilizing a national best bid and offer price and security. So I thought I was dealing with new financial technology back then, but today's panelists are going to talk to you about the next leap in the evolution of capital markets. We have Anthony Woolley, Head of Business Development at Onera, Dan Doni, CEO of Securency, Michele Cortoni, Head of Strategy at Six Digital Exchange, Charles Gillanders, U.S. Bank Global Fund Services, and Jay Clayton, former SEC Chair and Senior Policy Advisor and of Counsel at Sullivan and Cromwell. These panelists are building, almost literally as we speak, interoperable ecosystems through crypto. And as some of you may know, a research focus of mine is in the intersection of open banking and DeFi and how to reduce the stickiness of bank deposits through data sharing. But similar issues arise in securities as well. And the other week I was having coffee with a friend who described a tortuous process of transferring securities he owned to a new broker dealer. It was so complicated, I was unable to follow his story. So I'm now excited to share with the audience some of the latest developments in digital securities. Anthony, I watched the Onera video about Fin2P2 and I was very impressed. Um, for the audience, Fin2P2 is an interoperable routing network that can cross multiple types of ledgers and different types of parties. So, Anthony, can you please talk us through like, um, how you are breaking down silos to improve market efficiency and liquidity, and more importantly, the customer experience, and how was Onera able to do it? Yes, indeed. Well, thank you, Linda, and a pleasure to be here today. Um, calling from London, as you can see, the sun's gone down here. Uh, what I would say, I, I have a background in public capital markets, many years working for large institutions, understanding the complexities of that environment. Uh, and I joined Onera and left that institutional world to focus on digitizing the private markets, right? Which is arguably the world's largest offline market, uh, and therefore one that is incredibly inefficient, right? Today, private assets can only be accessed by a limited number of institutional investors who have privileged access, very deep pockets, uh, and tra transactions have tremendous friction there, often taking weeks to execute. So definitely in the, 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 the private markets, there isn't currently uh, any market efficiency or liquidity. Now, if you look across at the public capital markets, you can make the case that there's some market efficiency and liquidity, um, but that is being achieved at tremendous cost, right? Uh, institutions today, large institutions, spend billion billions of dollars a year on public markets infrastructure, and they're trying to optimize 50 years of, of legacy, right? These complex chains of intermediaries, complex technology operations, and really outdated assumptions about uh, what is required to move, to move value ar around the world. Um, so for me, the, the infrastructure of public capital markets is, is just not fit for purpose for the uh, scale, efficiency, and global distribution that uh, the private markets require, right? And then over on the other side, you've got the world of crypto, right, that, that we're talking about here. And uh, crypto has been in innovating at a, a tremendous pace 
free of that legacy and 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 pre uh, you know assumptions about uh, how the world world should work, right? So it, it comes at the world from a position that, of course, trading should run 24 by 7 seamlessly uh, around the world, right? We're in a, a global environment, and uh, of course, assets should be secured cryptographically, and investors' identity should be protected cryptographically, and really, and things like real-time settlement uh, are are just a basic fundamental uh, assumption. And so, the world of crypto, when it has all of that, then you can do the the really exciting things, right? Smart contracts for managing decentralized lending and, and borrowing and uh, so forth. Um, but the crypto world does lack some things, right? It, it lacks the level of institutional participation today. Uh, it lacks sufficient regulatory clarity and really the global interoperability that can support uh, distribution of high quality assets uh, at scale uh, around the world. So. Coming to what we've done at Onera, I mean, really, the first and foremost, we, we brought the industry together, right? Um, so to, to take the private markets online, no one entity can do it unilaterally on their own. So we brought the private uh, the industry together to develop this open source protocol, uh, FinP2P, short for Financial Peer-to-Peer. Uh, -peer. Um, and we did that to uh with a with a vision of leveraging the 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 innovations and and service expectations of the world of crypto uh, but without falling into the trap of inheriting all the inefficiencies of of the public uh markets um and so fin p2p is a digital cryptographically secured routing network uh that basically enables uh, any asset what whatever type of ledger it's it, it's on whatever type of dlt or even indeed some legacy centralized ledger infrastructures uh, to distribute those assets to uh, investors uh, wherever they may be. But investors, importantly,